Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another episode of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And today I'm going to be trying out the Mac 10 for the first time. Obviously it has a pretty fast fire rate, but I mean... That's going to be true for most SMGs. So the first thing I notice, I could be crazy, because it's such a small gun, obviously. Like when you look at it, it's super tiny. But the ADS on it seems incredibly obtrusive. Like, I feel like a lot of my screen is being taken up with the gun. It's got a really, really tiny iron sight. And the, like, bars that come off the back of it, which I'm assuming in real life is some sort of, like, flip down yeah that's like a flip down like stock but it's flipped up right now is like way in my face and i hate everything about that really i mean the iron sights themselves aren't bad because they're not that obtrusive they're really tiny but i really don't like everything else that's in the screen i feel like uh a lot of this sight picture is being blocked right now and it could I think sometimes with these smaller guns, like I'm sure other rifles that I've said I like the iron sights for take up just as much of the screen. But I think sometimes with a smaller weapon, you're technically pulling it closer to your face to aim than you would be like a rifle that has like a proper stock, right? So because of that, I kind of feel like it gives it, like, a little bit more of a pulled in. Like, maybe it even, like, zooms in a little bit. I don't know. It could be more of an optical illusion than anything else, but I just, I'm not crazy with how that looks. Now, obviously, without any kind of magazine extension of any kind, this thing has 32 rounds, which seems like a lot for an SMG out of the gate. But certainly, a lot of SMGs are not going to be so liberal with ammunition, and they're not going to give you 32 rounds. But with the fire rate as fast as this is, uh, that actually really doesn't feel like a lot. And I feel like I'm going to be running out of ammo pretty rapidly with this gun. I feel like this is something that should definitely be used with a large magazine extension and a uh, some sort of a laser. You know, like, a, mon a one milliwatt will suffice for the beginning, but eventually when it's unlocked, a five milliwatt... Oh yeah, look at that. Now that we're at a little bit of range, that drops down to a 66. It's like half. What were the body shots doing? 24? 24 is not bad, but... Oh, hello. Fairly long reload time, too. But notice, like, it's round 5. And again, I have been trying to be pretty... Um, easy going with the ammo consumption. And I'm out of ammo. So that's that's pretty bad. Look at that. Look at look at where it says Mac 10 underneath the ammo. When I switch, it briefly says Bowie knife. I never noticed that before. Interesting. Very interesting. Since I got a free monkey, I'm gonna throw it while I focus this guy, because I want to pay attention to how much damage this does to the boss. Almost none. <laughs> literally not even worth trying honestly not even worth trying i mean obviously we haven't pack a punched it yet so i can go do that real quick actually i think i will because i really want to see how this works against the boss but at least you know it's leveled up once it's uncommon it's green right it's not like a completely completely base gun at that point royale with lead Aha, it's a nice reference to um pulp fiction I'm sure some of you get that reference. What I was going to talk about <laughs> uh, is, uh, yeah, a lot of people were jumping into Warzone and checking out like the new guns that are being implicated, uh, implemented from Black Ops. But it seems like a lot of YouTubers and content creators. We're making videos specifically about the MAC-10 and how well the MAC-10 is performing in Warzone. 
Uh, so there's a lot of positivity being put out there about this gun. And I've said it before, uh, but it is pretty common to find guns that perform really well in Warzone or really well in multiplayer and then just do not in zombies because they're very different game modes and they work in different ways. And the same could be true in the other direction. You can find guns that work really well for zombies and they are completely trashed for Warzone or completely trashed for multiplayer. So I always like seeing like if everyone's like, this is a God tier gun, blah, 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 blah. Like, is it a God tier gun for zombies? Does it does the same apply? Because a lot of times the answer is no. And I had a feeling this wouldn't. I, I think in general, SMGs are not the best choice for a gun in Call of Duty uh, zombies because they typically have a smaller magazine size. Even with this pack of punch, it goes to a 60, which again, for an SMG is actually really good. And keep in mind, I have no attachments yet. I will be doing random attachments on this to see how it performs with some attachments. And keep in mind, I also will be doing a more thorough guide later. This is more of just like a first impressions. When I first started to try out the, uh, I hope I'm remembering the name of it. Like, Roser? Was that the name of it? The other gun. <laughs> the one that's unlocked at tier 31 um, in the, tier, in the uh, battle pass. I felt like right out of the gate, I was like, hey, this is actually a pretty good gun. Like, I'm really enjoying this. I'm able to utilize it. You know, I have no attachments for it, but, like, it's working for me. And I don't necessarily feel the same way about the MAC-10. I definitely feel like it's something that I'm going to have to get the proper attachments on. Oh my god. Well, I don't know that it needs that ridiculous of a sight. <laughs> we got some sort of a foregrip, which is always good. I don't know if we got a larger magazine because we don't have any bullets. So I suppose I should buy ammo just so I can figure out if them Because it is sticking out pretty far, but I may re-roll these attachments. I will say though, now that and I my suspicion was that because the iron sights are so low on this gun, and when you pulled it up like that, those metal bars were in your way. That if it had a red dot, it would solve that problem, and you would pull it when you pulled it up, and it definitely does. So this definitely, if you are gonna aim down sight, one hundred percent, you need some sort of red dot because that dramatically improves your sight picture for sure. But we're gonna waste some more material here. See if we can get some better attachments. Okay, well we got a red dot that I think I would prefer at least. That's good. Magazine hasn't increased in size. God, we didn't get much of anything on that. It looks like the magazine is like some sort of speed load magazine, though. I see some duct tape on the bottom. But there it's like it's not. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up the gun more and then do it again. Because we're only getting two attachments per roll right now. And it's just not giving us much to work with. But this is a better red dot than the thing I had before. So at least we got that. Oh, yeah. That's a very fast reload. Wow. Actually. I I mean, I have speed cola. But still, like that is almost instant. I definitely feel a lot better with that. I, th I really think this thing would benefit. Because you would have a larger reserve, too, if you had a bigger magazine. So I really think the reason I think I gravi gravitate towards like things like LMGs in zombies is I just like having a ton of ammo. You know, this thing's got 100 rounds, 300 in reserve. That's just a ton of ammunition. And I can just put a lot of rounds down range. Plus, it's heavy damage. Plus, plus, better against armor. And once we get to round 20, we start dealing with more armored guys. That's kind of where, you know, I'm thinking I want to be, right? And this is like a straight sweeper. Like, and it's, it's not bad for regular zombies. A lot of, lot of kills going on right there. Like, But as soon as some armored guys get into this picture, 
definitely concerned about how we're going to be able, how we're ineffective we're going to be against armored guys. And if you notice, I definitely feel the need to kind of burst fire this. Like, I'm tapping pretty quickly, but I definitely don't want to just hold it down because I feel like if I hold it down, I'm just going to waste ammo because it's just shooting so fast. Because it is putting out decent damage. You just have to... It's really... And it's not even about recoil because it actually feels pretty accurate. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, I really am not feeling the upward tendencies that you would expect for something that's firing that fast. It's a low caliber, so that would obviously benefit. Yeah, if I... It, there's definitely a, an upward tendency to recoil if you're going to hold it down that much. Because uh, I definitely have to pull back on it if I'm just laying into the trigger because the guy's Jesus in my face like that. But it's doable. It is it is actually kind of manageable. That's actually super manageable. I can see why this would be popular in Warzone. Because with some good attachments, extend the range to this a little bit. Increase the mag size. Put a foregrip on it to control both the vertical and horizontal recoil. This is actually putting out a lot of damage while being manageable, even while holding it down. So I could really see just like spraying into your enemies and it's pretty satisfying. God, I think I think this is actually pretty well balanced. I think it's really satisfying. Now that I'm getting larger groups of zombies, I can kind of spray a little bit more and not do as much of like a burst trigger. But, I think the biggest thing that it does to balance itself is ammo management. I really just think you're going to end up having to spend more points on ammo. Or, at the very least, this is a good secondary. You can't just use this as your only gun in zombies. Like, you're going to have to... You're going to have to offset this and use your other weapon. Like, I'm trying to primarily use this both for testing it and for leveling it, but I would have to start using my M60 more because you're definitely going to run out of ammo for this, and you can't afford to keep buying ammo for it. That's just not an option. Okay, we got a larger mag. That's everything. Getting a larger mag is huge, and we have a laser of some kind. I can never tell at a glance if it's a 1 milliwatt or a 5 milliwatt. In Modern Warfare, the 1 milliwatt was red and the 5 was green, so it would be super obvious. With this, it's definitely not as obvious, and I'm honestly not sure. Well, once again, I am completely out of ammunition for the MAC-10. And in a crazy act of desperation, because I don't want to waste money and I'm so close to 30,000, I'm trying to kill enough zombies to get to 30,000 with <laughs> this unupgraded M60. It's just something really satisfying about having this much sustainable fire in zombies. Like, having a 200 round magazine is very satisfying. But, then again, like, just spraying 70 bullets into a group of zombies with that kind of speed, also very satisfying. Yeah, this thing is definitely a killing machine. It's just... It's... It's it's hard to... You have to play change your play style. And that's probably part of it. Because part of my play style... I have two gears. I have two modes. Um, where I am... Playing... With an LMG. Or I'm playing with a shotgun. If we're not... You know, besides Wonder Weapons. Shotguns, up until now, have been my preferred more close quarter weapon um, because they're just consistently so good at dropping zombies so fast. Other SMGs that I've tried and I haven't used 
Oh shit, I don't have my thing off the cooldown. Okay. Yeah, I think when I've tried other SMGs in the past, because you have to be a little bit closer for them to be effective, there's, you know, just like with shotguns, there's... It, sometimes I'm not as much of a fan because the zombies are going to get those occasional random hits on you, and sometimes, you know, they can pile up, and sometimes, you know, three or four hits, and then suddenly you're dead, right? So I'm not always... super keen on closer weapons in general and I found that with the shotguns because they just have that burst of damage with each blast that maybe I don't know maybe it's just a little bit more controllable I'm comparing that to other SMGs which for the most part the SMGs I've tried with any kind of length in this game was the KSP and the MP5 um, but this obviously I mean you can see like I'm just like tap bursting uh, well not now because of the insta kill but you know what I mean normally and I'm dropping zombies without much of a problem so I feel like this kind of almost feels like a shotgun in a lot of ways in my hand but I'm definitely running out of ammo faster than I do with a shotgun we're not even at round 30 yet. We're at round 29, but we just finished the dog round, which usually implicates that there's, you know, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, and it is not feeling as strong. In oh, yeah. Look at the damage against the boss. Keep in mind, this is triple punched right now. The only thing we have left to do is to get it legendary, right? Because it's, it's purple right now. So we have one more tier to go, and then this thing is doing as much damage as it knows how to do. And we were not effective against that boss at all. At all. I mean, I just I felt completely ineffective against that boss. And usually, even you know now in rounds, you know late twenties, early thirties. Uh, that's not the case. If I had the, you know, like the Howard 77 shotgun purple triple packed at this point in the game, I feel like I would have shredded that boss real quick. I feel like I would have had no trouble with him. So the fact that we had a little bit of a struggle there against the boss, and I think it probably has to do with armor because the bosses are going to get more armored in the later rounds. Besides having more of a health pool, they're also just heavier armored. And this thing is obviously just not going to be good against armor. And I think that's going to be one of its other downsides. You know? Obviously, and but I said, it, I said it in the beginning too, though. It's starting to even kind of lose its effectiveness against the regular zombies. So I, I think this is kind of showing, you know, the just, yes, it has a very fast fire rate, so it kind of melts, but that means you're running out of ammo, and in the later rounds, you just don't have enough ammunition to be effective. Well, we got a surprising amount of materials from that round, so we're actually going to see this thing in Legendary. I honestly didn't think we were going to make it. But we get to see this thing at full potential. Minus, like, the chosen accessories. We do have some nice attachments, though. Some of these attachments are probably what I would actually go with in the final build. Usually, for me, when I'm testing on a gun, seeing how well the weapon performs past round 30 is kind of my test to say like okay how good is this gun actually going to be because that's when the zombies like normal zombies not armored zombies not bosses just normal zombies their health pools start to get bigger and you just it just requires more damage to kill them a lot more compared to the earlier rounds where some guns can actually start to 
feel like they're fading, even if they're full powered like this one is. It's obviously killing. Obviously, you just saw a lot of death come up on the screen there. But I can't, we're out of ammo again. I think I think it might just be like a glass cannon, right? Like the first damage is there. If in a pinch you're running around, right? You got great mobility because you're using an, an SMG and you're running. You know, maybe the S's hit the fan a little bit. You're you're on your way to Plan B, right? And you just need to move around, kill a couple zombies that are in your way, so on and so on. I feel like the Mac 10 is your go-to gun. I feel like as a primary weapon, I just don't know that I would consider it a primary weapon. And if I had to like tier zombie weapons, which is definitely something that I would be interested in doing at some point is giving like my tier list of how I would rate all guns in zombies. At this point, based on the experience that I have, I feel like the Mac 10 would be somewhere between if A tier is the best this is somewhere between a B and a C tier for sure have to try it with other attachments right we have to see how it performs at its best with the best possible attachments so we'll do a better break like a full breakdown of the gun later on when we have all the attachments unlocked but as right now, it's definitely somewhere between a B and a C tier for me. Which now is as good a time as any to let you guys know that I am planning on doing a gun guide series. But unlike people like Ace that are doing like super detailed breakdown things of the guns and whatnot, but their focus is usually in how well the you know the uh, how well the weapon performs in Warzone and or multiplayer. Like I'm just going to be talking about how well the, the weapon performs in zombies and my preferred class setup specifically for zombies and I'm not going to be talking about multiplayer at all because there's plenty of people out there that do those but what I don't see is a lot of really detailed breakdowns of guns specifically for zombies so you're going to be seeing some of that coming from me in the future and I'm definitely I mean, at some point, I hope to include all the guns, including the Mac-10. But it's not as straightforward. Like, the the, the Howard 77 shotgun, like, that, in my opinion, is an A-tier gun. I thoroughly enjoy using that, and that is a gun... Actually, I don't... I think, without using Wonder Weapons, I've never gotten farther than I have with that shotgun in my hands. I've been... Later in the game, round 60 plus, and I'm still feeling like I can kill zombies without too much trouble using that shotgun. And I, obviously this is only round 32, but I just cannot for the life of me foresee this shotgun, or uh, this SMG not being a problem if I was in round 50 plus. With it, with the struggles that it's having now, by the time we get to 50, like, I don't think that's going to work out. I wanted to point out something really quick. With the larger magazines, the M60 has 600 rounds when it's full, and the Mac 10 has 560. So it only has 40 fewer bullets. I'm willing to bet, though, that if I just use the M60, I would end the round and still have ammo. And I'm willing to bet that if I just use the Mac 10, there's no chance. So I'm going to use this as kind of like my final test for the video just to see like where we get with this gun. Yep, that's it. And there are still plenty of zombies. Plus, we were definitely getting a lot of kills from weapon mods and from the gas from killing dogs. A lot of, lot of weapon mod kills, though. A lot of weapon mod kills. Almost made it through the round. This is going to be my final assessment of the gun for today's video. If I wanted to use this gun, it would be to kill regular zombies. And then I would have another gun that I would use that was a heavy hitter for bosses. I feel like I could still use this into a larger group of zombies, and it's definitely killing them, and it's not a problem. 
feeling it's not getting the job done for the boss. And I need to switch to something that's going to be heavy hitting. Ah. Yeah, that was definitely a struggle at the end. But, uh, yeah, all in all, I do think it's a good gun. It's definitely not a bad gun for zombies. Uh, but... I haven't used it myself in Warzone, but based on everyone's videos, it seems like everyone's treating it like it's a god-tier gun for Warzone as an SMG. Definitely not god-tier for zombies, but I really just think it comes down to the ammunition, and I don't think that's solvable, even with the largest magazine. So, it's a fun gun, but not fun enough. But, uh, thanks for coming out, everybody. I appreciate the view and support, as always. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications if you haven't already. And comment below and let me know what guns you'd like to see me really try to tackle. Uh, I already have a couple in mind for starting my like proper weapon guys. But what's a gun that you'd like to see me break down for Call of Duty Zombies? And I will get on it. So thanks again everybody and I'll see you in the next one.